the Ogo State Agokago Airport, often referred to as the Gateway Agokago Airport, is a project which is city on 5,000 acres of land and strategically located within Lagos Ibadan and the Shagamu Bini Expressways. The project is part of the industrial transformation agenda of the governor of Ogo State. Having had its first flight on February 22, 2023, preparations are already at an advanced stage to begin operations. The MEDI test flight was one of the necessary activities leading to the full certification and licensing of the airport for safe aviation operations. In this video, I will be telling you all you need to know about this airport project and I will also be stating some of its features. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and put on the post notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post a new video. 11 years ago, the federal government through the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria designated 30 airports as perishable cargo airports in a bid to transform the aviation sector into a major revenue earner for the country. The Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria promised to develop international standard perishable cargo facility to enhance their operations. Some years after, the only functional cargo airports are Lagos, Port Harcourt, Kano and Abuja airports. While the remaining nine cargo airports lack the needed infrastructure to drive cargo imports and exports across Nigeria. It is therefore in a bid to create the much needed storage infrastructure in view of the large volume involved and to facilitate the evacuation of agricultural produce to domestic markets in conformity with international standards that Prince Dako Abiodun, the current governor of Ogu State, has restarted his commitment to giving Ogu State a brand new agro cargo airport with a runway, fire station and control tour almost ready. In 2007, Began Daniel, the former governor of Ubu State, and conceived the idea of setting up a cargo airport in the state to attract business and investment and to take advantage of the proximity of the state to Lagos State. Consequently, having got the necessary approvals from the Federal Ministry of Aviation and the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority, Governor Daniel settled for Ilin Shon Remu, a settlement close to Shagamu as his preferred location and did the grand work, but he could not complete the project before the expiration of his tenure in office. Referred to as the Gateway Agro Cargo Airport, the project is currently being constructed by Crayborg Construction Company, a leading civil and building construction company offering diversified general contracting and design build services to private clients and public agencies in Nigeria. Speaking during a press briefing, during a facility tour around the airport, Adwaid Odushile, Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Ogu State, said Ogu State started the construction of this airport from scratch in April 2001, adding that the airport would be the fastest built airport in Nigeria. Odushile said Ogu State is not only building an airport but also an aerotropolis with another facility for passenger operations. This airport is an important component of Ogu State Transportation Master Plan, which will bring together rail, roads, and water transportation. This airport is not just a standalone airport, it is also be supported by other transportation facilities that are currently being built in Ogu State. This is part of the five pillars of development in Ogu State. The Ogu State government assured that the structure and components of the international airport complies with the Nigerian and international standards. The control tower is about five-story building and it is what is obtainable in the international community. There is a perimeter fencing from the beginning of the airport or like some of the airports with security road on both sides for patrol to prevent intruders from coming into the airport. The Gateway Agro Cargo Terminal has been described as a hybrid of airport structures in Morocco and Paris. There are two separate terminal buildings for the airports, which are cargo and passenger. At any time, the airport can accommodate up to four Boeing 777 aircraft. It can also take up to two wide body and two Boeing 737 aircraft modem. It was stated that the only testing sites approved in Africa by the African Development Bank Group will be located at a site not too far from Shagamu. 
that is one of the challenges people exporting goods out of nigeria face because most of those goods don't meet the international standard so before MEC goes out, it will be tested. The total land mass of the airport is about 5,000 acres of land with room for expansion in the future. The runway has about four layers. The first layer is about 65 millimeters of asphalt. The second layer is about 50 millimeters of asphalt. And the next is about 100 millimeters of asphalt. The Obu State government said it's partnering with private investors to invest in the airport project and to provide warehouses. It is noted that there are already lots of inquiries and even the federal government is interested. It was stated that the government will provide private investors with the facilities to grow their businesses. That is why it is called Aerotropolis. The airfield lightning is programmed into the project with provision to run for 24 hours. As a result, the state government has assured that all auxiliary teams that will make the light functional are already programmed. The Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure, Ogu State, has restated that whatever is grown in Nigeria can be exported from Ogu State, and whatever is produced in any part of the world can also land at the airport. He assured that there are a lot of opportunities for exportation of foodstuffs. An aircraft maintenance repair facility and a flight training school for pilots and auto engineers are set to commence operation at the Gateway International Agro Cargo and Passenger Airport in Ogu State. The facility will ensure that aircraft in the country no longer need to travel overseas for routine maintenance. The president of Airfest Maintenance and Repair Facility, Bola Abata, made this know in an interview with journalists shortly after meeting with the Ogu state government, Dako Abiodu, in his office. Mr. Abata noted that the company was looking forward to working with the state government in the development of the aircraft maintenance facility at Agokago Airport. He further said that the company, when fully operational, would create jobs for the local and indigenous from other states. He commended Mr. Abiodu for building a world-class airport in the state. This project has been described as a game changer and also a project that will further enhance the industrialization of Ogun State. Governor Dakbo Abiodu says that the passenger operations will commence at the Ogu Agro Cargo Airport in 2024. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. So what are your thoughts concerning this project? Do you think it's taking too much time and it will be of a huge benefit to the people of Ogun State? So guys, I would love to hear your feedback concerning this project. Do to drop your comment in the comment section. Hope you find this video quite interesting and informative. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye.